So this allows me to pull tension in the rope without it slipping. I'm using quarter inch nylon Paramax. On this side, I'm gonna tie in with a simple bowline knot, hook into my shackle, and I'm just gonna twist an overhand loop, twist that overhand loop again, and I'll push that working in through that window I just made. Pass my free end through, and when I let it spill, it will turn in to a bowline. We have our rope anchored on the other side. We'll place our wood down for transport. And what I'm gonna do is start with a bite, bring it forward around the piece of wood, and then come back around. I want my bite to end up right here on the edge. And from the underside, I'm gonna grab my working end and I'm going to create another bite and thread it through that first one, okay? I'll pull this bite out until I have enough room to hook onto my other corner. You can't see it from this point of the video, but I'm hooking on to the other anchor point, okay? Now I'll pull this towards me to pull out the slack here and tighten up this loop. And you'll see that this piece of rope that I'm pulling ends up underneath this portion right here. And so watch what happens. Okay. That's already pretty secure. Let's tighten it a little more. There we go. I'll finish it off with a bite and two half hitches. And that's not going anywhere. All right, now we're gonna try it with a couple pieces of square tubing. Combat speed. Now it doesn't have to be a small object, you can use this on anything. Take our bite, we'll go all the way around. Now we want this loop in my right hand to match up with this edge. And that'll help lock in all our tension. Take our other loop and we'll hook it on to our anchor point. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the ladder towards me and it's gonna collapse this loop just a little bit closer to this edge. There we go. Instead of just pulling on the rope, I'm gonna use my trusty Marlin spike with a Marlin spike hitch by doing an overhand loop, another overhand loop, and I'll thread it in and out. There we go. This allows me to pull tension in the rope without it slipping. Got my tension locked in. Now it's just a matter of doing a couple half hitches so that it doesn't come free. There we go. To undo this rig, I'm just gonna pull out my half hitches, pull in some slack, undo my opposite anchor point, and there we go, free. So my ladder's tied down and locked in, but let's say I wanna add a couple more pieces. Here's my square tubing. All I'm gonna do is take my working end and tie the same knot again right on top. So I'll fall forward, bring it around. Now I just need to make sure that this loop is on the edge. And then I'll go over to the other side to pull in my other bite. Here we go. All right, and this one just goes into my anchor that I started with. my same trusty Marlin spike to pull in the tension. I want to make sure that we're underneath this piece of rope. There we go, that gives us our lock. Okay. And now I'll tie in my half hitches to lock everything up. There we go. Now we have our lighter tied off. We have our pipes tied off. When we want to get this taken apart, 
I'll simply undo my half hitches. Okay. I'll pull in some slack. Undo my shackle on one side, and then I can just pull everything free. There's that. Same thing on this side. Pull in the slack. Everything comes free, and I'm ready to go. I want to end up with this pipe square in my truck bed, so I'm going to start with it at an angle, so when I pull in the tension, it'll end up square. I already have my rope anchored in on one corner. I'll take a bite, and I'll bring it forward, wrapping it around the pipe. And when I come up from the back side, I want it to be on the opposite side of my standing end. So it'll look just like that. On my working end, I'm going to form another bite and I'm going to thread it through. And then I'll pull out my slack, collapsing this loop down. This loop that I have here, I'm going to anchor it into the other end of my truck bed. And watch what happens now. There we go. This loop is tightened down. This end that I'm going to be pulling on is underneath this rope here. And watch this. Okay. Now this thing is stable. I'm going to finish it off by grabbing a bite and just tying in a couple half hitches. Perfect. That's not going to fall out. When I'm done, I simply undo the loop, pull out my half hitches, and I just need to grab the bottom rope and just pull in some slack. There we go. I'll unhook it from my anchor point and pull everything free. Here, I'll take my bike, go over the top, come around the other side, let's grab onto this end over here, create my bite, and I'll thread it through. Now you want this loop to be as close to this edge as possible so that we can get our tension. And now we'll just anchor this side into our opposite anchor. Instead of just pulling on the rope, I'm gonna use my trusty Marlin's bike with a Marlin's bike hitch, which is just an overhand loop, another overhand loop, and then I'll thread it in and out, okay? That allows me to pull on my rope Okay, tension's locked in. Let's tie it off with a couple half hitches so it doesn't come loose. Good. Babes, you're interrupting my video. Good. You're not doing what you're supposed to. It's perfect filming conditions. I need to take advantage. Hey, um, 